What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and we're almost reaching 100,000 subscribers with this channel. This is absolutely crazy. Thank you so much to all of you guys for supporting, for subscribing, for showing love. And if you have any ideas what we can do when we hit those 100,000 subscribers on this channel, let me know in the comments. I'm going to do something special for you. So if you have any ideas, feel free to comment them below. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe now and hit the notifications bell so that we reach that faster. And of course, you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And in this video today, we want to recreate this vintage kind of printed look. I'm seeing it all lot over Instagram right now um, from Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Amber Sally to rappers such as Playboy Cardi, uh, P Diddy's son is using it a lot and also fashion campaigns use it and I love the look a lot. I think it's a really high quality look and most of them do it with real film cameras and really print and scan and things like that. But today I'm going to show you how to recreate this look using your smartphone, the free Lightroom app and the free overlay app to just create that overlay on top of your image to make it look as realistic as possible. And now before we start this tutorial, let me tell you, I've also created a preset on exactly this look for you guys to just make it simpler and easier and quicker for you. It's in that all presets pack. The link is under this video. And in that pack, there's over 100 presets that you could just easily paste to every one of your pictures to change them up, to make them look better, to upgrade the look. And the cool thing about the all presets pack is that every time I create new presets, which is on a weekly basis, they're automatically updated to that pack. So you just have to get it once and you'll have new presets every week. I think it's a great deal. It's unique. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And of course, if you have any questions of any type or ideas for new videos that I can do, you can always DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm open for conversation and really excited to hear from you guys. Now let's start with this tutorial. The first thing you will need to do, of course, is take your picture. Now, when you take your picture, make sure that you use a dark background. It could be a colored background, blue, red, something like that. Just a simple, clean colored backdrop or a black wall, something dark in the background, just anything except for a white background or no background at all. Um, just in the streets or something, make sure there's a background and that's rather colored or even dark or black. Um, and make sure to turn on the flash when you take the picture, preferably at night. So the flash lightens up um, your, your subject and the back wall as well. And once you've done this, you have the perfect base um, to create this vintage printed look. And that's what we want to do now. So you open your picture that you've created that you've taken in the free Lightroom app right here. And in this case, I've chosen this one right here of P Diddy's son um, because it's also in front of a dark backdrop and the flash was on as you can see here. And we just want to create this vintage vibe. So the first thing you do in the lights tab is go to curve on the upper right side. And now what you want to do here is just pull up the highlights a little and then pull down the shadows a lot and now take the shadows all the way down here on the left pull that up so you get that kind of blown out look here maybe a little darker until you hit the curve like right there is perfect and um, then we are done here just take your time make sure um, you really recreate this curve as close to this one as possible and now what you want to do is just boost up the highlights to around plus 35 then we want to boost up the whites to plus 33 in this case and the blacks we want to boost them up to plus 11 right there. Then we go over to color and what you want to do is just pull down the temperature in this case a little bit to negative six and the saturation we want to boost that up. I feel that this works best um, boosting up the saturation a little to around plus 14 and then we scroll up hit grading and now for the shadows we want to pull them towards a hue of around uh, some green or blue hue let's say around 170 is a good number right there and then the saturation we want to pull to around 12 right there, which is perfect. Then the midtones, we're not going to change anything, but for the highlights, we want to pull the hue to around 39, that yellow, orange, um, almost, yeah, almost yellow area, 39 right there. And then a saturation of, in this case, around 30, 
33 or 31 is perfect and we are done here then we want to hit the color mix and now we just want to um, fine-tune the skin tones a little bit in this case so for the reds we just want to pull down um, the saturation a little bit to around negative 21 right there and the orange tones here we just want to boost up the hue to around 13 to that more orange area um, to just make it look more vintage and then of course the saturation we want to boost up a little bit as well to around plus 14 and we're already done here with the colors we go over to effects and now here we want to pull down the clarity to negative 30 to just to soften up the image a little bit and then we want to add some dehaze to bring that crisp back in to around plus 28 right there and now of course we need grain for this picture this is essential for this look so we hit that up all the way to around 33 and you can already see it looks super vintage the colors are blown out um, the, the contrast is perfect now the last thing we want to do is go to detail and now we just want to really pull that noise reduction up all the way to 45 or 46 right there to really soften out all the little details almost make it look fake or just too soft because that is really what that look is all about and now the color noise reduction as well all the way to 35 right there and then that is it right here and now this is the first step we got the colors right once again keep in mind i've created a preset on exactly this look so you don't have to toggle along to the whole tutorial it's on my website link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack and in that all presets pack i've also added an overlay for exactly this look this will really make it look even more realistic and just add that little um, physical detail to it. I'll show you right now um, what we're gonna do with the overlay. Um, so you will need the free over app. It's also linked under this video. And of course, um, the overlay from that all presets pack linked under this video as well. Most of you guys already have the all presets pack so you can just pull down either the preset for the Lightroom or now what we will need um, the overlay scan file for the perfect detailing on this shot right here. And I'll show you how to do it right now. Now you want to open over right there, hit the plus down here, go to image on the upper left side, and now just choose the image that we have just created in Lightroom right here. Hit the check mark on the upper right side. Now it's popping up. Now hit image again on the bottom left. And now you want to search your folder for that scan file that you've downloaded. This one right here, I've opened it there and you just want to make sure that it's covering the whole image so that you don't see the rest of it, only this scan file, the structure. And then down here, we want to scroll all the way over to where it says blend. And then you want to choose all the way hard light right here. And you can see those scan lines coming through looking super realistic. Also, what is really cool if you choose color right here, um, it will give it a really nice um, black and white tone, vintage black and white. But I'll go with the hard light right here. Now, if this is a little too much for you, we can also pull over here again, um, all the way to where it says opacity. And now just pull down the opacity to where you like the effect, just to kind of make it look more subtle, even more realistic to around 55% is cool, I think. And then we just hit the check mark on the upper right side. And now we can export it on the upper right side as well. And then just save on the bottom left. And now it's in your camera roll. And this is it guys. Here's a little before and after. And I think we came super close to that real look. I'm really um, shocked by how realistic this actually looks. Keeping in mind, we're only using our smartphone and two free apps. Um, with an overlay, which is absolutely cool because this look is done professionally with Photoshop or even with real um, film and printing and scanning and all these kind of things. So I'm really happy with this tutorial. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Let me know in the comments. And of course, I've also created the preset on exactly this look. It's on my website. Link is under this video. And it's in that all presets pack with that scan file, that scan overlay that you might wanna use for this look as well. And of course, over 100 more presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures to just experiment with different looks and get creative. Uh, make sure to check it out. Link is under this video, as I said. 
And the cool thing about the all presets pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically in that pack. So you just have to buy it once and you get new presets every week. I think it's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. And we are hitting those 100,000 subscribers. So once again, thank you to you guys. Let me know in the comments what I can do as a special or any kind of highlight for you to say thank you. Once we hit those 100,000 subscribers, I really want to do something. And of course, if you haven't already, don't miss out. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the notifications bell so you will get all the new videos. And of course, if there's anything you need from me, any new requests or ideas or just questions in general, always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm always open for conversation and really excited to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for everything, for watching, subscribing, um, for motivating. It means a lot to me. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy. Peace.